glucose meters in bodybuilding, are these getting overused? Potentially so. A lot of people are now trusting fasting blood glucose, but this just shows one little moment in time. And some people get over obsessed about it and you might kind of miss the big picture of what's happening with the physique off only one marker. It doesn't tell the full story. It can have a rise in blood glucose, but also what is insulin doing to manage this blood glucose? Really, we need to know both. So I wouldn't advise you needing to track fasting blood glucose every single day for your physique outcomes. Every 12 weeks is when we're recommending pulling labs. At that time, you get a glucose reading, you get an insulin reading, and you get an HbA1c, which will show your blood glucose average over three months. And we see how that trends over time and never lose sight of the big picture of just coaching the person that's in front of you, how their physique looks, if they're gaining muscle and limiting body fat, they have good pumps and health is in check. Likely there's not many people that need to be tracking fasting blood glucose, but that's not without exceptions for few. So again, focus on the big picture and don't get too nuanced and lose sight of what you really need for your physique.